This is Mike Lingle from Rocket Pro Forma. In the last video, we talked about how time is the reason that subscription math doesn't work. So the reason when I go in a spreadsheet and just do my multiplication, I have a thousand subscribers at hundred dollars a month. Why aren't I bringing in one point two million dollars in revenue? Well, and you know, instead I'm only bringing in closer to five hundred thousand dollars in revenue. The answer is time. Most of my subscribers aren't paying the full twelve months they're paying less than the 12 months. And in fact, I sign most of my subscribers towards the end of the year because my sales are typically accelerating. Now there is some additional math that goes on specific to subscriptions um, and it can get pretty complicated. But uh, one thing to keep in mind, right now I have this set to all monthly payments. So my cash at the end of the year is negative 524,000, but also my EBITDA adds up to negative 524,000. There's a thing with subscriptions where a lot of the time we pay annually, um, and that can really change the cash position. Um, so what happens if I shift this to 100% annual accounts, everyone's gonna pay this $1,000 number, so they're actually paying less than 1,200, right? Because this, um, the $100 a month is $1,200 per year, which is more than the, the $1,000 per year. But if we take $1,000 per year and divide by 12, that's only $83 a month. And so if we set it to 100% annual and come back here, a bunch of stuff has happened. One is we've actually reduced our revenue because now we're selling essentially this cheaper thing but we've dramatically boosted our cash position. Remember, we were at negative $586,000 in cash, and now we're at positive $22,000 in cash. So selling all annuals shifted our cash position um, by more than double. We went, uh, I'm sorry, by $600,000. So we went from a $600,000 loss to essentially a $0 loss. So we made $600,000 in cash by selling annual subscriptions. That's cool. I recommend selling annual subscriptions. The problem is uh, if I budget for annual subscriptions and have all this extra cash and I go raise money based on those projections, I may not raise enough money. So what I recommend is being pretty conservative. Like let's say I'm only going to do 10% of annual in the first year. And you can actually see the weighting, right? So if I do 0% annual, which is all monthly, I'm scooping up that um, $1,200 per year, but I only get $100 per month. If I shift it to 100% annual, it's $83 per year because it's 1,000 divided by 12, but I get all that money, I get that $1,000 up front, right? So that dramatically changes the cash position. In the middle, if I say 10%, right, I get closer to that $100 a month, but I get a few people who pay me the 1,000 up front. And so that saves me $100,000, um, but I still need to finance you know, $500,000 and I need to go raise enough money to cover that first year. So I always try to be pretty conservative when estimating the number of annual accounts because it dramatically changes the math. All right, uh, I hope that helped. Um, again, I'm Mike Lingle from Rocket Pro Forma. This is all about uh, math for subscription-based startups.